Hello and good evening. <laughs> good evening. How are you doing? Uh, doing awesome. Doing good. Thank you for asking. How are you doing? Doing amazing. How has your day been? Weekend? Is it a holiday? Is it a busy day? What sort of a day is it? Uh, I think it, it is not holiday for me. It is working day for me, right? Uh, okay. So. Yes, my coaching institute is open and I have to teach after this session. So, yes, it is working there. Okay. If you could erase your memories, you know, if you had this option, would you like to take it? Just some memories, maybe if you don't like them, would you like to discard? Yeah, I think, you know, yes, I, uh, I would like to erase it because look, like human being have a good gift of God that we can forget things, right? And uh, that's why we overcome lots of, you know, like things that happened in my life. So I think, you know, like forgetting things are good. So sometime I would like to forget few incidents or few things that happened in my life. And uh, I think it is good because I have seen the madman and the people who are mad. Uh, they are mad because they cannot forget something that happened with them or just they are repeating the same thing. So if you look at the people who are mad, they will be repeating the same incident again and again. This happened with me. This happened with, I have seen the psychiatric patients. So yeah, I would like to forget things. Ah, that's the, the trauma. Sometimes people are unable to deal with trauma, right? Yeah. So that's yeah. that. Oh, but I don't think for you it's a problem. Uh, you no, see, for me it is not a problem. Yes, I am okay with it. But I think, you know, forgetting is a good thing, right? So uh, um, it is a good thing for human being. At least human being has memory, uh, like they have ability to forget things. I think animal. I, I don't know about animals. I think they, they do not forget or remember anything. They don't have that consciousness. <laughs> uh, but you know there's this thing that i've read about e people who have like a sort of mental illness or something like that uh that they see the world the way it actually is and that is why they're mad or insane and we don't see the world the way it is so that is also a very crazy explanation i feel no i think they want to make this world their own way they are not seeing the world the way it is if, if they would see it, then I don't think they would become mad or crazy. Like, you know, you cannot control everything. I mean, so you have to look up to the things the way they are, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you have to not see, like right now, if wind is blowing and I would be mad that why wind is blowing, I don't want this wind to blow. <laughs> and I would definitely become crazy without, a, without any, like, you know, I cannot control it. And if I'm thinking about it, so I have to learn to look at the things the way they are, yeah, sometimes. So I think this is the problem with mad people. They would try to stop this wind. No, I want to stop it. Why this wind will, uh, wind will blow right now? Because I don't want it. Hmm. Very well. Um, do, do you think that internet should be free for the whole world? Is, is it an advantage? free internet for everybody 24 7 no see as far as my opinion is concerned i think using like data says uh internet is destroying people you know destroying their mental health it is bringing mental illness in people so uh, after all they are paying for it after all they are becoming them mentally ill right so i don't think it is a good thing if it will be free then they they would use more right and I think one cannot stop themselves using internet right now. Even they have to sell their property, they will sell it, but they will use <laughs> internet. It is kind of addiction right now. <laughs> kind of an addiction. As you're saying this, I'm feeling like a little guilty inside because, <laughs> because I'm a little addicted to it. So <laughs> I know you're right. Mm -hmm. Very well. Do you think that actions speak louder than words? Yeah, it always speaks louder than words. Like actions speak louder than words. Uh, you, you can see a very few people are of that frame, right? Who, who just take actions and their actions speak louder than their words. So 
it, it, always I think, you know, take action and prove it. You have to not speak. World will speak about you when your action speaks. Mm -hmm. right. Very well. That is also uh, well said. But uh, on one hand, I also think that words are as important as actions are, you know, because I'm a lover of words. I love words and sentences and speech. So I think that both are really powerful. Equally. So you are talking about in communication. Yes, in communication huh. words are very important. But in life, I, I mean, you are asking about the steps that we are taking in our life. Yes. Like lots of people will speak and they will not work. They will not take a step. But, but few people will never speak. They will just take actions and they will prove it right. So I'm talking about this. Yeah, while you are communicating with people, yes, word is everything. You know, yeah. You, your words only. Matter. Life also, I believe. You know, life also, I believe actions and words are equally important. Like, say for example, I read this somewhere that you know, action is when you are give, giving someone beautiful flowers. So that's a good action. But also, if you could communicate how you really felt while giving those flowers, it's, you know, a combination of both does a good job. So good I believe job. in a balance. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you think uh, a person can be educated without a formal education? I like, if you are talking about literacy, right, then I think they need to know how to read and write. Right? Mm -hmm. But if you are not talking about literacy, just about knowledge, then one can be learned without knowing how to write, how to read, write. Because if you look at the past philosophers, they have they have been like giving their thesis philosophy without knowing how to write and how to read. Right? Lots of philosophers. Yes. yes. So I don't think that, you know, literacy is going to, make any difference your in your life right now world need most literate you know like most of people are literate than ever before in this world right now but if, if you look at the problem problem is more than ever right now right and it is increasing day by day so do you think that literacy is changing this world i don't think i think literacy is making this world more worst you know so oh. yes it's my opinion I got your point. There's an excess of information, but there's a very little wisdom right now available right now, right? Mm. People don't chase wisdom, they worship information. information. I got your very nice. Okay. Uh, fun question. Tell me some chips or chocolate or those sort of, you know, uh, things that you enjoy. Like, I really like hide and seek biscuit a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> what, what is it that you like? Like, I like mixture, you know, in my childhood a lot. Mixture, eating mixtures. So whenever I would have money, I would just rush to shop and get mixture. And I would eat my, with my friends. So yes, I have memory. Uh, right now, I think I'm not enjoying any kind of thing like this because I enjoy fruits. <laughs> I, I enjoy more than anything fruits right now. Same. Just absolutely the same. Uh... I enjoy fruits more than anything right now. And it's just that I don't even feel like going back. I just feel like, you know, uh, living this more of this lifestyle. It just feels mm -hmm. so good. And only if you're eating it, you understand what this person means. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, 